What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well. And as always, thank you for tuning into the content. This episode is gonna be really exciting. So many of you are asking me on a regular basis about this. So Bulletproof, for the Bulletproof drinkers, big thumbs up, big shout out. I'm sure you absolutely love this. You have your own recipes as well. So let me know in the comments, any kind of twists that you've already put on there. I'll be going over some of mine today as well. So I get asked a lot about this. Why do I drink Bulletproof? And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to actually just create the recipe. So I hope you enjoy it. And at the end, I'm gonna give you one of my bonus tips, a secret recipe that helps with cognitive function. And especially if you're a trader right now, then you wanna be picking this up. So let's go through the recipe. I'll give you a bit of insights into it. I'll do my best with it and hope you enjoy it. So ideally you have a French press for the best possible way to do that. I've actually got the beans grounded here, by the way, so I've grounded these myself in a blitzer. So anyone that you have, you can do that as well. And you can do it to the texture that you want. So this is nicely grounded. There's a few beans that I didn't get in there actually. So, uh, but that's all good. Um, so this is the original recipe. There are a few other ones. I've not tried them yet. So only this one. Uh, so let's begin and I'll just give you a bit of education along the way of why I believe this is so important, especially with my day-to-day -day life. I'm very busy as an entrepreneur, businessman. I need to make sure that I've not, I'm not getting that crash, which I'll go into. So first up, French press. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to go two tablespoons. Now, just a reasonable size. So one, two. So we've got the coffee and I've already boiled this. And what you want to do, just for easy measurement, just get one cup. So you want to make this as perfect as possible. So one cup, boiling water. This is, uh, this is filtered water, by the way. This is actually Kungan water, which I'll do. I'll probably end up doing a, a separate video, uh, video on this. So this is pure alkaline water, 9.5. So this has, been, this has been boiled. So let's get this in. Done an incredible job with that. <laughs> with the French press, you want to leave this for about four minutes to brew. So uh, let's get a timer on my phone, that'll be easier. All right, so four minutes. Four minutes on the press, and this is the time for it to brew. It's going to be amazing. Honestly, you will love the taste. Absolutely unreal. The butter. So this is grass fed butter. This is really, really important. You don't want to make sure that if you're vegan, then you're not going to want to use this. Of course, you can try it with your own, you know, vegan butter, and I'm sure it can work, but it's not going to be the same thing. So myself, I'm not 100% vegan. I don't eat meat, so I fall more into the vegetarian sort of route. Uh, but for myself, this is unreal. And for those of you that haven't read the book, I highly recommend that I'll put a link in there and you can go check it out by Dave Asprey. Honestly, it's really, really good and it's loaded with so much more than what you'd think as well. So definitely go and check this out. But essentially, I want to give you a bit of education on how this actually started. So essentially, Dave Asper, he went to Tibet. And when he was traveling in Tibet, he realized that in the high altitude of the mountains, if any, any of those of you have been in the high altitude of mountains, your breath is going to be very, very shallow, right? Because you can't breathe as much. And he noticed that people would be drinking yuck butter tea. So he was curious, as you can imagine, why, why are all these people, you know, they're working hard, they're up in the mountain. Why are they drinking yuck butter tea? And it was because the yuck butter in the tea, it gave them the energy, the energy to burn. So when they're working for hours and hours, they're not eating, they're essentially fasting. I fast, by the way, I intermittent fast. So for me, it's so productive to be able to have something like this, amazing. And I notice the difference night and day between coffee. Now, for those of you that are traders already, you probably drink some coffee, probably quite a few a day. And do you ever have that feeling when you have that crash a little bit? When you have that crash, it's the most horrible feeling. You go from you know, being energetic, you've got the caffeine kick, and then before you know it, you're feeling uh, tired again and you feel like you just need to get another coffee. I hated that. So this has been huge for me. So the grass-fed butter is so important because, and cows naturally eat grass and now they're eating grains. So it leads to things like inflammation in the body, which is then going into you. So ideally you want this. So grass-fed butter, game changer. And then we have the MCT oil. So we've got brain octane here as well. So this is brain fuel. 
and this essentially gives you the mental focus and clarity that you need. So this is 20 times more powerful than coconut oil. Absolutely amazing. And if your goal is to be lean, want to be intermittent fasting, this is perfect, helps, helps with the burning fat process. So absolutely love this. And this is basically the main ingredient. So let's get it, let's get it going. So I'll show you the rough measurements for this as we do this. Before I know it, my channel is going to turn into a cooking channel. I've got so many recipes that will help and so many other hacks, by the way. So roughly you want about this much of butter in. It's about 200, 230, something like that calories uh, per one. So we'll get that in the Nutribullet here. And then we want to get, we'll use Brain Octane. And we want to get a tablespoon of Octane. Perfect. Here we go, four minutes is up. That was quick. So four minutes is up. Let's do this. Right, so the coffee's now brewed. We've got our grass-fed butter, and we've got our brain octane. You can use MCT oil here as well, so you know they're very, very similar. It's just branding in that sense. And then what we wanna do is get this in here, so. Perfect. Lovely. The smell, by the way, unreal. So now we've got grass-fed butter, we've got the coffee brewed, four minutes, got MCT oil, brain octane, honestly, whichever one you want to use, you can. And now let's blitz this up. So any kind of blender you've got, get this on. There we go. Perfect. Now we have our coffee. Do you know what? I never used to think of coffee as, you know, almost like a recipe. Now I enjoy it so much more, I look forward to it. So I tend to break my fast at about 1 p.m. It depends on what I eat the night before or what time it is, depending on my schedule, you know, running so many different projects. So it's really, really important that, you know, I have the right time to do it. So for me, it really, really does depend on that. But being able to have the bulletproof in the morning, honestly, it just keeps me going. Sometimes I don't even think about food till I can push it to 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and then it's so much more rewarding. So let's get this on. All right, so here we go. You guys are gonna love this if you haven't tried this already. You can pick these up on Amazon anywhere. I may even create some custom links just to make it easier for you. So let's get this poured. Here we go. Pretty much a perfect cup. That was the extra spillover earlier. So yeah, as you can see from here as well, you should ideally see just a little bit of froth here. Sometimes it can be a little bit more. It really will depend on how much butter you put in, but a couple of hundred calories for me. Oh, it smells incredible, honestly. So rather than putting, so what I used to do is I used to have just black coffee. And for those of you, let me know if you like the black coffee, but for me, it was just too bitter just to have black coffee alone. And when I put almond milk in it or oat milk, or it just didn't really taste very nice because I don't have milk um, in that sense. So having the grass fed butter, knowing that it's organic and it has everything I need because you know I'm not gonna put milk in it, it's perfect. So this tastes more like, for those of you who are probably wondering, what does this taste like? More like that kind of latte type feel to it, if you like. It might be close for the Bulletproof coffee drinkers. Let us know. I know some people put eggs and all kinds of crazy recipes in them, uh, which I'm sure you'll be leaving in the comments, but. Very nice, let's try it. Very nice, so yeah, it's got that kind of creamy latte type feel to it. Lovely, this is something I would look forward to every single day. And to be honest, it's changed the game for me in terms of coffee. So those of you that have that crash, right? This is one thing I want to talk about. Those of you that have the crash with coffee, the reason as to why is because you have mold on your coffee. Now, I want you to go, don't take my word for this, go and do your research, but remember, you're coming to this channel because you want tips, tricks, mindset hacks, and if you're a trader right now, you need to be optimal, you wanna be focused. So if you're just going and buying the coffee and it's not tested anywhere in your store, it has mold toxins. Now, those mold toxins will give you that crash, and it's everywhere. So you've gotta look at the standard of coffee that you have in your country. I mean, if you're looking in the US, it's like pretty, one of the worst, or I think the worst, something like that but it's crazy. So with this, I don't get the crash. Once I drink the coffee, 
I'm good. So I feel energetic all the way through, which is absolutely amazing. That alone will save you. So if you're a trader, you want to be optimized, focused. You don't want to be, you know, it's it's not your fault. You think, right, just go grab a coffee, I feel good, and then you feel the crash after. This, let me know how you feel once you do that. You absolutely love it. So good. And it's got that kind of latte type feel to it. You can put in things like cinnamon if you want, a few cocoa nibs. I've got a few other recipes. But overall, absolutely in love with this, and I highly recommend that you check it out. And especially, especially the book as well. Read for the book. It's got so many nuggets in there, so much value. But I can I can assure you this: just understanding about the mold toxins alone will change the coffee game for you. But like I said, I never used to see coffee as um, a recipe, if you like. Where now it's actually quite enjoyable to to do all of this, knowing that I'm getting the right stuff, and not just out the water as well. So the water is it's 9.5 alkaline water which i'm sure a lot of you will want me to do a video on let me know in the comments by the way if you want to know more kind of biohacking stuff and some more recipes bonus tip i promised you about the bonus tip so you can probably see behind me here i've got a few other things here this is symbiotica stuff which uh, i know i've been getting a lot of requests to do a full video on which ones i use how i use them uh, before my fast lots of good stuff here i've got you know vitamin b12 vi um, uh, vitamin c some standard stuff that you know but there's there's some stuff here like coated silver that you probably won't know too much about, but really, really good. And lots of other few things as well. But the secret recipe, I'm just going to grab it here. There's a few different ones. Right, so if you want to change things up a little bit, because I know some of you will experiment. Cinnamon. I always like to put cinnamon sometimes. It really just depends on how I feel. And then this is the one. Lion's mane. For those of you that like mushrooms, not magic mushrooms you know this is perfectly legal you can go buy it um, so you can check these out on Amazon this is a really good brand that I use and again it's it's got like you would expect it to taste really different but it's not that much so it's got a really like subtle smell to it but when you put it in for cognitive function for those of you that don't know lion's mane is unreal you can eat this as well but from a powder format you can have capsules putting this into the coffee ideally you want to do it when you blitz it so it doesn't get bitty but you'll even you'll just have this extra mental clarity and mental focus. So for those of you traders that like to back test, right? You like to back test, want to do a four hour back testing session and you're getting distracted from social media here and there, chuck a little bit of lion's mane into your coffee, into your bulletproof and then let me know how you feel. So just adding a few little things in there helps it. Um, so cinnamon gives it a nice touch if you like cinnamon. Now the other one is organic, this. So if you want to add more of that kind of chocolatey taste to it, almost like a, maybe a mocha, the closest thing to that. But if you want to change that up a bit, that will give you a lovely little taste there. Or some people might even put a little bit of dark chocolate, but honestly, entirely up to you. But for simplicity, grass fed butter, two tablespoons here, one tablespoon of the brain octane or MCT oil uh, as, as best quality water as you can get so good quality water even if it's just filtered water or distilled water just something better than tap water but make do with what you've got you know you have to start somewhere you have to level up my game of biohacking has increased over the years and i've found different ways but didn't happen overnight but in life for me and what i really wanted to showcase about this channel is more giving you insights into things that i do giving you more of a personal insight you know inviting you in and letting you know look this is what i'm doing this is how i do it and why i do it and if you can take some golden nuggets away from that and you can implement that into your own life and it helps with even just a bit of mental focus while you're learning to trade. I mean, trading is difficult enough as it is. So why not set yourself up for success by doing these small, tiny little effective hacks that just improves your focus. But yeah, another video coming on that. If you want me to go into more detail of Lion's Mane, I've got these as well. So these are, these are really different ones and they do different things like liver, kidney. So there's so many beneficial things. For this kind of stuff but as a standard for me i have one bulletproof coffee a day if i have a crazy packed schedule then i might have a couple but normally one but right now i'm cooking up something incredible for the falcon community working on some really in-depth psychology stuff that i've learned over the years that will to be honest change this entire space going to be absolutely mind-blowing so stay tuned for that and a lot of other things for falcon as well in general but Overall, I'm going to have some coffee. I've got some work to do. Markets are looking good for this week. And just overall, I appreciate you tuning in. Let us know if you like this type of stuff and you want to know more insights. There's so many different things I do. So this is one element of it. But for me, it's all about getting the, the staples right. Get your water right. Get your coffee right, especially if you're a trader. And then other certain things as well, like your vitamins, your health. You know, you, you have to 
put yourself in the best possible to, position to succeed in life. So if you can do these simple things that are sometimes very inexpensive, it can put yourself in a much better position to succeed. But enjoy your day wherever you are, and I'll catch you soon. Let us know in the comments what you liked about this video.